As more details surrounding the untimely death of Chadwick Boseman surface, the thing that becomes most clear is just how kind and inspirational of a man the world has lost. The years he spent living with knowledge of his cancer while continuing to make movies and uplift others only further amplify the altruistic nature that everyone came to know him by. Meanwhile, of course, his acting prowess was undeniable, and the role which shined the brightest for this immortal thespian was that of King T'Challa in the Marvel Studios' mega-hit Black Panther. After news of Bozeman's death rocked the world, fans reeled back any time the notion of recasting T'Challa was floated. For one, Bozeman largely defined the character of T'Challa for an entire generation. Aside from that, pretty much everyone agreed that it was far too soon for such talks, given that the world is still mourning the loss of such an important real-life hero. Recently, though, fans have begun taking their own route by suggesting an approach that is less about the demise of T'Challa and more about securing Chadwick Boseman's legacy by placing someone new on the Wakandan throne. First off, while it is visibly apparent that no decisions need to be made about this right now, there will be a certain point in the future where audiences will expect a Black Panther 2. Marvel will have to be extremely careful about how best to approach the project without disrespecting Chadwick Boseman's memory. The first thing that becomes clear, if the flood of responses on Twitter is any indication, is that the notion of recasting T'Challa with the new actor will not be greeted well. So, how should the story continue? Obviously, Marvel can't and shouldn't do an entire film with a digitally recreated Bozeman a la Carrie Fisher in Star Wars. While audiences could, perhaps, accept a scene or two of this, having a creepy, resurrected CGI T'Challa for the film's duration wouldn't be feasible or respectful. That means most likely a new character must be elevated to the throne, which leaves a few options. Okoye certainly would be a worthy candidate. M'Baku is another one, given that the first film made his interest in ruling quite clear. However, a more clear path forward is already laid out in the comic books, and fans are already calling for the MCU to follow suit. After all, this structure is in place, and it actually makes a lot of sense. Is there any member of a royal blood who wishes to challenge for the throne? Fans have already begun petitions calling for the Black Panther mantle to be passed down to T'Challa's younger sister Shuri, played by Letitia Wright. Because not only has Shuri been the Black Panther in the comics during a popular 2009 storyline, but when it comes to respectfully laying T'Challa to rest, the film could use these same comics for inspiration. The storyline in question features Latverian dictator Doctor Doom, the biggest Marvel villain who has not yet entered the MCU, and one whom has occasionally been rumored as a Black Panther 2 villain. The villain joins a sort of anti-Avengers known as the Cabal, whose membership includes Namor, the King of Atlantis, a guy who tends to switch sides a lot. T'Challa is offered a place on this team by Namor, and he refuses. In response, Doom proceeds to swoop down and attack T'Challa, leaving Wakanda's king in a comatose state. At this point, it falls on Wakanda's Princess Shuri to undergo her own trials and tribulations as she must finally claim the role of Black Panther for herself. This doesn't go smoothly. In fact, Shuri's own hubris initially causes the Panther God to reject her, but she eventually goes on to prove herself as a worthy Black Panther. This path forward is, quite likely, something that the studio is considering given the fan base's support. Comics featuring the first appearance of Shuri have already seen a spike in value, according to Bleeding Cool. Whatever decisions are made, though, it's unlikely that any motions will be made until some years in the future. Which is good and right, since everyone certainly needs more time to remember Bozeman's inspirational words, honor his legacy, and rewatch all of his films.